The story begins with Josie and PJ, two young lesbians, sharing their insecurities about having no sexual experience with girls. With that, they decide to go out and PJ even tries to win over some girls, but without success. Continuing the tour, Josie is delighted to see Isabel, her platonic crush. However, her attention goes to Jeff, who is kissing Isabel, right in front of her. Sometime later, the cheerleaders are near PJ and Josie. Upon seeing Brittany, PJ invites her to eat together, but Brittany is uninterested in the invitation. Josie tries to join the conversation, but an unfortunate comment about the girl's thinness causes them to walk away. Later in the parking lot, PJ and Josie are talking about their attitudes toward girls when they overhear an argument between Jeff and Isabel. PJ says this is Josie's opportunity to defend Isabel, but before Josie can do anything, Isabel gets in the car. Josie asks Jeff to get out of the way, but he resists, creating more conflict. Josie speeds up and Jeff is lightly hit. Dramatically he falls to the ground and is soon helped by his friends. The next day, PJ and Josie are observed curiously at school, due to the rumor that Josie had hit Jeff. Then, PJ and Josie are called by the principal, who is about to expel them because they hurt an athlete. However, PJ and Josie inform them that they were training for the self-defense club and with that, they managed to convince the principal to stay at the school. Later, PJ, Josie, and Hazel take advantage of the idea and plan to open a fight club to approach attractive girls and have their first sexual experiences. This way, PJ and Josie get together with other girls and start the club. By pretending that they were in a reformatory, they teach some moves in practice where PJ gets a good punch from Josie. The next day, Isabel sees one of the girls talking about the subject and then, Josie tells her about the fight club. Later, the cheerleaders join the girls and decide to join the club. The meetings become a safe space for the girls, which builds more and more confidence in the group. Taking advantage of the moment, Josie shares her false experiences in reform school and manages to catch Isabel's attention. At each encounter, PJ and Josie go crazy with adrenaline as they touch the cheerleaders, who punch them several times, while PJ and Josie smile back. Later, Isabel and Josie enjoy each other's company, when Isabel praises Josie for helping other girls. Josie thinks about telling the truth about the reform school, but when she feels Isabel's attention on her, she decides to take the opportunity to say that Jeff is cheating on her. Knowing this, Isabel and the club girls plan revenge against Jeff. At night, the group of girls are in a van going to the athlete's house. While Hazel sets up a bomb, the other girls decorate the front of Jeff's house with eggs and toilet paper. In the car, Isabel thanks Josie for standing up for her and Josie says Isabel deserves someone better. The two girls approach for a kiss, but before that, Hazel's bomb explodes, causing them to flee the scene. The next day, the girls get together, as they know that the athletes will do anything to close the club. The atmosphere becomes tense and Hazel regrets that PJ still hasn't gotten what he wanted. Afraid of being exposed, PJ calls Hazel ungrateful and says she should thank her for being part of the club, ending the meeting. Later, Isabel goes to Josie's house. Upon entering the room, Isabel sits on the bed and pulls Josie in for a kiss, showing Josie how much she wants her. At Brittany's house, PJ talks to her in bed when he leans in and kisses her, savoring the moment. However, as she walks away, Brittany says that she is heterosexual and apologizes for it. The next day, the athletes prepare a fight and call Hazel to participate. However, 
she is surprised to see her opponent and ends up being heavily defeated. In the end, the team of athletes reveals that the club's girls were not in reform school and that the club was created so that they could get closer to other women, especially cheerleaders. Isabel asks Josie and PJ if it's true. They try to explain themselves, but Isabel and the group of girls leave. Curious, PJ and Josie argue. While PJ makes accusations, Josie says that PJ only wanted to satisfy his interests, which makes her leave. The next day, Josie goes to a friend, who warns her about a disaster that could happen later, during the school game. At night, Josie apologizes to PJ and says that they need to come together to avoid a disaster. Upon finding the girls in the stands, PJ apologizes to Hazel and gains the group's support again. In this way, Hazel sets a bomb to prevent the game from happening. Meanwhile, Josie tries to warn the cheerleaders, but they avoid her, clearly annoyed. The opposing team's athletes arrive and the bomb that Hazel set fails. With no alternative, PJ kisses Hazel to try to distract the audience from the game. However, upon discovering that the opposing team wants to kill Jeff, Josie recruits the club's girls to defend the team. Using their fighting skills, the girls manage to prevent the disaster, defeating the opposing team and saving Jeff from death, impressing the public. Soon, Josie and Isabel make up and kiss passionately, while Hazel's bomb finally explodes.